What's going on everybody? Josh Pocock here and in today's video we're going to be looking at a tool called Jan. It's an open source alternative to ChatGPT, maybe LLM Studio. It's essentially a tool that runs 100% offline on your computer, multiple engine support, Llama CPP, Tensor RT LLM. You can use Grok, you can use OpenAI, you can use uh, uh, Anthropic, you can use Hugging Face and local models. We're going to show you how to set up in a very, very simple way. You don't even have to run one command line. Let's dive right into it. All right, guys. So this is Jan. Turn your computer into a AI computer. And I'm not going to go through the whole NVIDIA here. Link for it will be in the description down below. You can see the different... Uh, PCs, uh, different PCs and GPUs architecture that you can run on, different quick links, and some more information here. Um, but we're going to look at their website. So it's actually a lot easier than, I mean, it's very easy to install than, you know, maybe different other tools, right? And a lot of the videos you've seen on this channel, if, you, if you're not new to the channel, uh, you may have to run a couple command lines, maybe spin up a Docker uh, container, whatever the case may be. This is very simple. You can literally go to jan.ai, which will be linked down below, and you just click download right here, and you can download for Mac, Windows, Linux, etc. So I already got it downloaded. You can see apparently 1.5 million downloads, free and open source. So um, yeah, also too, there's their GitHub, Hugging Face, and Discord. So local, remote API. So this is really cool. You can connect... Two APIs like uh, OpenAI's Grok, Mistral API, and whatnot, 100% offline, cross-platform, um, and then extensions. So there's custom extensions. And this is actually what I, th I thought I was talking about. Fully OpenAI equivalent API. So Jan provides OpenAI equivalent API server at lo localhost 1337 and can be used as a drop-in replacement for compat with compatible apps. So you could actually use this API into uh you know building an app and here's the api reference right here not going to go through it but yeah pretty cool stuff and i'll show you that in just a second and how you can get that set up so once you have it downloaded it is going to look like this well it may not look exactly like this i just went to the settings and changed the appearance to dark dimmed because i like dark theme and before it was um it was Whatever it was, it was transparent, so it was really hard to see, so it wouldn't have worked that well for this video. Okay, so, make it a little bit bigger, there we go. Okay, so, um, first things first, let's talk about adding a model, and then we'll go over some of the UI here. There is a lot of features, actually, within this tool, so, okay, so on this section right here, we have threads, we have hub, so this is threads, this is hub. Um, threads are essentially the chat interface. Uh, we can go over here, we can uh, program a prompt for our assistant instructions. We can select a model, so if we go here, we can see different types of models. Claude, um, Cohere, Grok, Mistral, OpenAI, OpenRouter, local models, etc. You can see the inference parameters, such as max tokens, temperature, top P, stream, stop, uh, frequency penalty and uh, presence penalty and we can also see um, I'm going to show you how to turn this on in just a second but once if you turn on some of the advanced features we can see retrieval so retrieval helps the assistant information this is essentially rag retrieval augmented generation we have embedding models so embedding model is crucial for understanding the processing and the input so you can select an embedding model vector database so um, yeah uh, some some more advanced options right here you can toggle these on toggle them off etc and then time weighted retrieval top k chunk size and chunk overlap so this is all to do with rag and you can even pull up, plug in a retrieval template here so really cool stuff that they have this um yeah so let's go ahead if we click on hub here this is where you'll be able to well, this is one place where you guys should be able to um import model or download models so as you can see it has a bunch of different models here that you can download. You can go featured or downloaded uh, or sorry, uh, all models. There we go. And you'll see different ones, the gigabyte size. And what I really like too, is that it even says like which models you shouldn't download. Like for example, here it would say slow, uh, slow on your device. 
this is basically saying because right now uh maybe running low on ram which could affect the speed of the model so that's pretty cool and then shows ones that are recommended so uh, i do like that now the one thing to be honest that i at least to my knowledge from even looking around in the uh, github repo issues and a uh, bit on the discord i don't like that it's uh, it's it seems like it's a challenge to connect a uh, hugging face it's not as simple as just like it being able to see hugging face or sorry uh, not hugging face uh olama so you know i've done a lot of videos about using olama uh guis so in terms of that you know you may want to look into something like web ui or whatnot um for olama but this is really good for you know other models the whole thing is though that you would have to download the model and for, like it's not showing my olama local models that i already have downloaded these would be different um downloads right so it's just taking up essentially space right so and you could paste in a hugging face url and import a model so that's pretty cool now if we go to settings so this is the settings um we can see a bunch of different settings i'm not going to go over every single one but we have my models right here so if I go to like a mo uh actually if I click on like Anthropic, the gear icon right here, this is where I can plug in my API key. All right. So as you can see, boom. And then we get access to uh, those models. And let me see, import model. Okay. So you can import GGUF models. Uh, we have Cohere. Yeah. You can just go to like Croc, put in your API key and boom, it should work and yeah so we got the model providers right here we got open router open ai we got extensions here so you can plug in your hugging face uh, api token we have system monitoring we have extensions here so you can toggle on or off different extensions and core extensions model providers and then advanced settings so this is where you would want to toggle on experimental mode so this will allow you to use things like rag and other features. Um, there's some other advanced settings here. I'm not going to go over every single one of them. We got like HTTPS proxy, ignore SSL client or certificates, um, Jan quick ass, clear logs, etc. We got keyboard shortcuts, appearance, which we covered. And that's about it. So if we go over here and I go ahead and go to um, model, I could select what model I want right now let's say like Claude Sonnet 3.5 I say hey what model is this and we should get a model from Anthropic is this Claude Sonnet 3.5 okay well it should be Claude Sonnet 3.5 sometimes models say this I don't know it's I was probably just doing that I'm assuming just saying that but um, yeah, usually like I've got this before where you ask a model if it's like a specific thing and it says no or it just says it's like uh, whatever. So, but anyways, yeah, you can see that you can pretty much use whatever model you hook up the API to or if you download the model offline and um, we could go ahead and use Grok, which is pretty cool because Grok has uh, free API credits. It's just very rate limited. So if I say hi and you can see super, super fast, we can see token speed right here of the uh, response we can go here system monitor we can see the cpu the memory use so um currently i'm at almost half of my memory um we can see the uh gpu and all that good stuff we can see running models right here so you can stop model run model etc and then also too if you go over here to local api this is where you can actually start a local API server. So if I go ahead and start server, and then you should on port uh, 1337, you'll get in a uh, fast uh, Swagger um, API reference right here, open API, uh, AI API. So we can see like get models, get download model ID, you know, all these different API endpoints, chat, message. I'm not gonna go through them all, but you have all that good stuff and you could use this really anything if you're building out a specific app or um some code whatever the case may be i'm um, pretty cool that they have this like i said it's 100 percent local um the only downside is the whole llama thing other than that i think it's a pretty cool and useful tool 
Um, but if you liked videos like this and you got some value from here, make sure to smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. I'm also going to be doing more videos like this. And I really do like how they have rags. So you could upload a PDF. You could upload a document and chat with the document, ask it questions about the document. Um, so pretty cool. And also too, if you don't, if you're someone that doesn't like having to run a bunch of commands when installing a tools like this, you know, maybe you're just not tech savvy or whatever the case may be. This is definitely a tool for you. Um, in terms of just downloading an ex executable file, very, very simple. Other than that, guys, I'm going to be doing a lot more videos like this and got some more videos to come. So if you're new to the channel, we upload videos every single day on AI, automation, business growth, marketing, sales, etc. All the cutting edge technology. Anytime I'm learning something, I always like to share with you guys. So if you have any suggestions on specific tools you want me to cover, take a look at any video topics you want me to create, let me know in the comments down below. If you already let me know in a previous video and I haven't done it yet, um, I could just be in the backlog. I got a lot of suggestions, so I'm always just, you know, working on different videos and whatnot. Other than that, guys, um, if you haven't already joined our free community, strikecommunity.com, link for that will be in the description down below. Our free Facebook group, free Discord channel. Other than that, guys, I will see you in tomorrow's video. Keep hustling, keep grinding, and of course, guys, accelerate your stride. Take care.